this working? of a son trying to get this to work the way I'd like to all right am I in the right <laughs> say with this banner owner <laughs> maybe <laughs> that's fucking funny who is it I can you guess can you guess uh, I'm, ass I'm assuming oh <laughs> it's Keith <laughs> what's up homie um, what the fuck? All right, I'm trying to, uh, it, all right, so I did all this, like, jazz to, um, make sure my computer could run everything the way I wanted to, um, so I could stream in multiple places, and, like, my RAM's kicking ass now, um, I, I got this, like, like uh the the direct whatever um the the whatever cable that goes to the internet <laughs> and uh fuck my life um when i went to go to uh um facebook um or youtube it like um started slowing down so i'm going to try and do this one more time so i apologize if it slows down for a minute but um that is something that might possibly happen mm -mm -mm. how are you doing my friend Sorry, a bad sign when you see the little fucking circle thing. God darn it. Set up live video. I like started out early so I could master all this fucking shit, but um, mastering it, it's not happening. The other day, about two weeks ago, I had everything going Facebook and YouTube, and it was working fine. Um, if you have an iPad, you can always just stream on that at the same time I don't I had another laptop but I, I fucked it up <laughs> but I need to like um, I need to uh, um, uh, I need to um, get like a new operating system I can't remember exactly what I did um, but I ended up uh, um making it so I went I went to like do a factory reset but there was something fucked up with my keyboard my actual keyboard broke and it complicated things and I shouldn't have done that but I did what I did and so be it uh let's see here all right so almost there let's see if this works please work all right we're gonna go what am I waiting for stream setup did that Gave it a name. 
webcam. Oh, I gotcha. No. No. <laughs> Son of a bitch. All right, advance. I have all that. What does it want me to do? Um. Oh, fuck you. Uh. <laughs> all right, whatever. I can eat shit. Oh, wait. Maybe is the stream key different now? Uh, modify. Nope. All right, I'm about to tell it to go F itself, cause this sucks a fucks. All right, uh, add post. It wants a title. That's what it did last time. It just, like, give it a fucking title. So, all right. Um, video, expand, go software. Fuck you. <laughs> streaming software did that and then when it goes there we are okay now if it slows down I apologize cuz that's a bad move on my part and if it slows down too much then I'll just tell it to go F itself all right I am live you're live all right cool all right um Hello, everybody. What <laughs> wicked porn you have? <laughs> yeah. I don't know what I did to it, to be honest with you. Um, I don't know if I got water on it or some bullshit, but, um, you know, whatever. We'll see. All right. Now I just need to find out. Okay, here are the comments. Do, <laughs> do the comments work? All right. So, um... Hello, everybody. Uh, thank you for tuning in. Um, the All right, so we've been working on this particular track, right? And I couldn't help it when I, <laughs> when I had some downtime. I had to fucking keep working on it because uh, it was just what I was in the mood to do. And I finished it, and I recorded the song so we can... Um, actually listen to it the way it's supposed to um, function or operate or whatever and um, yeah I, I actually videotaped a playthrough um, well and with a couple shots and I <laughs> because I was editing it the editor just was eating shit so I ended up um, since the editor was eating shit, I didn't get to finish, and I, I've been up since 10 in the morning, or 10 p.m. yesterday, because my sleep schedule is on heavy, 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 heavy acid. All right, so let's see here. Um, let's see here. Do you guys want to hear the song? Uh, let's see here. I think I need to just... I figured out how to play it over the thing. Um, I need to go to overhead desk overhead all right i'm going to play this song for you so get fucking ready all right uh boom or am i <laughs> Let's see here.
that is that. Alright, I unfortunately am going to have to kill um, the Facebook because uh, I'm getting encoding overloaded warnings with the... Uh, or am I? Now it's gone. What the freaking acid trip? Um, how... Let's see here. Is the freaking Twitch coming out okay? Alright, it looks like the Twitch is smoother now. Did the uh, music come out alright, or did it, like, chop up and all that bullshit anyone, anywhere, for any reason? Not all at once. <laughs> alright, let's see here. Um, also, can you see... God damn it. Um, I wanted the Guitar Pro. Come on, bitch. To. Alright, let's see here. Um, oh, it looks like that probably came out okay. Can you read the numbers on the Guitar Pro okay? Didn't get choppy. Alright, that's cool. Alright, cool. Cool, cool, cool. Alright. Um, Alright, so. I suppose, uh, do you guys, um, hey everyone, say hi to King Augie, <laughs> vocalist for Psyopis Extraordinaire, he's on the Twitch, uh, Twitch chat, alright, um, let's see here, alright, we can either A, go through, um, the song and I can just show you, analyze what we did, or we can just start working on new material, I'm down, all right, cool, cool, cool. Um, I Yeah, I tried, I went through and I, I fixed a lot of stuff. Um, Ian Dissonance, is it everything working better than it did last week? I don't know. All right, um, do the roar. <laughs> Would love to hear the track. Um, okay, do you, um, <laughs> does anyone give a shit if we, uh, here, I'll do it again in like five minutes, just, uh, clear if anyone else actually comes on and wants to hear the track. So I, um, anyone who's just showing up, I, uh, on Facebook or whatever, but, uh, we've been working on, um, all sorts of different material for less than a month, but, uh, or about a month, just shy a month. And we finally have a, a finished song, and I recorded it, and uh, whatever. So, um, more fog. Play it again. Okay. <laughs> uh, I will. Um, but, yeah. Do you guys uh, just want to work on new material, or do you want me to actually analyze the song and, and let you know what I did? Uh, first person to respond will get the freaking... <laughs> will we'll get honored with their request so i'm here to serve you dude uh yeah <laughs> okay i'll play it again because try to play some of it all right it's not that complicated paul did you get to listen to it paul did you get to listen to the track i want to hear the breakdown of the track I'm gonna do the breakdown of the track as soon as I am done playing the track. Yeah, it's awesome. Okay, um, I'm gonna play it again because we have a couple people extra here. All right, I'm gonna play the song again. Um, let's see here. Uh, yeah, all right, so this is just a uh, write a song right now. Okay, <laughs> we could do that too. All right, I'm going to... Um, Go ahead and play the new track. Uh, I'm gonna maybe be Cody uh, cutting up a little bit. Adam needs to sing over it. Sing, not scream. Like literally, fucking do a do re mi fa so la ti do. All right, here's the uh, new song again. This goes out to King Augie.
right, there you go. Fucking move over stairway to heaven. <laughs> Here comes that fucking bullshit. All right, okay. Um, uh, write a song and or whomt piss is... In, oh, <laughs> who missed this <laughs> piss in the jar? It's my piss. I drink... No, it's... um. Uh, it's a combination of, um, sugar-free <laughs> Red Bull and, like, the sugar-free lemonade, because I got no sleep. So, alright, um, let's see here. What are we looking at? Alright, I am going to go to multi-view. Um, does anyone have any questions? Forever hold your peace, or whatever that jazz might mean whenever why ever forever this is way better than stay away <laughs> right right okay um let's see here okay it seems like the the feed's working a little bit better now praise jesus <laughs> uh okay um so i'll give you a little a quick little rundown of what happened so you can uh kind of get a vibe of whatever the hell was going on with that jazz um because it was totally jazz it, i was jazzed uh, multi-track guitar okay so let's see here um oh yeah all right i don't know what the fuck's going on where's the actual one i'm looking for hold on uh, i want a better guitar profile with what i actually did here Okay, da, 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 da. all right, so um, here we go. All right, so uh, <laughs> oddly enough, um, there is one riff of everything that we worked on that I brought from somewhere else um, than when we worked together, and that was the very first riff that you heard. And that actually, I was talking to my buddy CJ, and that actually came from... Uh, high school <laughs> like that's and i'm 44 so you know back and back whatever it was a long time ago so uh high school yeah so that was an old riff that just never got used and i was always doing it with a standard guitar and it came out a fuckload better with the the straight b tuning that we're doing plus i learned what a pair how to i knew what a paradiddle was but i didn't actually know any paradiddles and I always had the idea of having a paradiddle thing for the riff. Um, I thought about the the end of uh, Slaughter by Pantera. Like, there was like, dun, 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 dun. Like, the end of it, like, um, uh, Vinnie Paul's doing this, like, sick-ass fucking, like, um, <laughs> this is what a paradiddle looks like when you're playing a paradiddle between your fucking hi-hat and your ride. Um, so, Yeah. So that is what happened. So basically, we went through the riff. There's nothing particularly exciting to express. Um, Paul and uh, I, <laughs> and, uh, whatever, I did come up with a, a, a better tale for it. Wow, that got big. Uh, right here. Uh, nothing really in, in exciting to report, but the, uh, the open EB, uh, uh, it's a perfect fourth, but actually it's a perfect fifth generally, I think, because the E, I would still think, as the root, whatever. All right, so then the the main riff has a startup, right? We're coming here at measure 17, and it was it's just another, uh, I, I use a lot of, um, the, if you're ever interested in the note choices, I use like 80 to 90% of the time. If you go to explodingfingers.com, you'll see uh, there's a book, Relative Interval Theory. It's super fucking cheap. And it goes through detail about the uh, the melodic choice I, I use for like, I don't know, like 80, 90% of the uh, Psyopus material. So anyways, um, right here it came up with this riff, which is a tritone and a perfect fourth. And uh, bet between the, the, um, the C and the uh, D flat, you got a minor nine, which works pretty good there. Go back for the perfect fifth and go up a tritone again. That would be uh, what I call evil intervals, acid intervals, and neutral intervals. Um, so anyways, do the start up with a two four, and then we go right into a five eight version of it. 
Um, so you kind of, it starts off with that, you know, whatever. And then when it goes to kick back in, you can see that it repeats these first two notes. So hopefully it kind of loops around and it becomes neat, whatever. Um, then there's this like breakup part where, you know, like basically it's going with a puka, like unka, 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 unka. Um, and then there's like this little breakup part here. Oh yeah, I get to play this stuff. So yeah, anyways, the startup goes like this. Oh no, it doesn't. <laughs> Okay, I gotta hold on. I only got the ba the base on here. Uh, global view, boom, boom, shellac lock, boom, and I'm gonna play this. So let me know if it's too loud or too quiet or whatever that jazz is. Can you hear that? So that's uh, we went from this, you know, whatever. So that it's it's going like that, and then we go into a variation here where um, we add a power chord to kind of beef it up a little bit. Uh, oh, 53rd fret. <laughs> yeah, that's yeah, that's uh, that's guitar. Um, that's guitar pro lingo. That uh, 53 is the bell on uh, uh, the bell of the ride on um, Guitar Pro. So anyways, we go through the process again, and then we, we do a long pause for dramatic purposes. Then we go back into this, but now we're doing the crash instead of the ride to try to lift up the uh, whatever. Can you hear me talking over this, man? I'm on like heavy doses. I'm not even paying attention. Anyways. So there's a, we, we do the startup again like we did before, but we have like a long ass pause before we get the ball rolling for dramatic purposes, whatever. Um, usually Adam Frapoli would pull out a harmonica at that point and just fucking play, dude. He would play so hard. Uh, so anyways, um, <laughs> you can't, all right, cool. Uh, and we go into that riff again in 5-8. But this time we have, this time we have the crash playing over it to kind of build up the dynamics on it. And then when we stop like we did before, there's like a stop with like a little startup just to, for like, again, to like segre to separate the first. Oh yeah, by the way, that riff we do five times and then on the sixth one, we stop all the drums. Then the, we're in the second like grouping of the arrangement. We do that pattern again, but this time we do a, a lower notes. I changed up the notes. I, I was doing the original notes, and then I tried doing some variations that were very similar to like the intervallic movement, and I wasn't feeling it, so I came up with this riff, and we put a blast beat over it just to be fucking cool as fuck. So it goes like this. <laughs> And then it does one of those startup things again. God damn, encoding overload is the opposite of anything that's a high five, man. All right, so um, let's see here. Uh, okay, so then we do that, like um, we do another version of the notes adding the power chord in 7-8. By the way, this is 7-8. There's so many things to pay attention to. And it sounds like this. <laughs> And that it continues going, and that in, and this is in seven eight. <laughs> so you know it, it's it's a you know somewhat of a traditional kind of breakdown that's just like I mean it's kind of Pantera esque. Uh, it's kind of Pantera esque, but it's in seven eight. You know, so that's kind of weird. And if you notice here, the dead end. The, those last two 16th notes that fin you know that are at the end of like the seven six the two seven sixteenths within the uh, the seven eights um, they're on the last two which is kind of weird too considering you still have a downbeat um, separating that with the crash and the kick so it's like so that's kind of interesting. All right, so now here we go. This is the dramatic, dramatic buildup, and we're calling it the Paul buildup. It has everything to do with Paul. 
It was uh, writ it was created on his birthday. All right, so the very real truth is the notes are, are the actual pitches are different. Um, but there's a lot of cool ideas that go into this. So, all right, two things. All right, we're going to be working over the span of these measures right here. And it's, it's, uh, there, it's kind of a buildup where the first four measures are in 916. It's, it's seven notes, uh, seven sixteenth notes, and two rests, okay? It, it, everything's in sixteenth notes, so don't make me think about how that's the equivalent of eighth note. But anyway, so it's these seven notes right here. Uh, we'll go over the pitches that are used after the fact, but... So that, like, whatever. Um, we do that. And then we do another four measures, but this time it's an eight sixteen, so we lose one sixteenth note, which makes the cycle a little quicker, which should make it more intense. Woohoo, right? And then after the eight sixteen, we do another four measures, but now it's in seven sixteen. So now we've lost the rest. So the loop is becoming even quicker. Then we do another four measures. You'll never guess what the numerator is for the time signature. It's six. So again, the cycle is speeding up, or not so much speeding up, but uh, revolving um, more often within a time span, or whatever. You know what I mean by speeding up. Um, then it, the next four is five. The next four after that is four. The next four after that is three. And then this last one, it's two, but I extended, I, I did it, like what it, it would have been like four measures with each measure being like only two notes in it. I made it so it was like eight measures just to really kind of like hold that out because it's like the last accented, you know, like build up before we move on to the next part. So um, interestingly enough, throughout the entire thing, I left uh, a um, hi-hat eighth note the entire fucking time. Every transition into a new time signature, I added a crash uh, just to emphasize that there was a transition. Now, if we look at it here, um, you'll notice it, this goes for all of the patterns. Uh, the first note's a lower note, and then the second note's a higher note. And then the, like, the odd numbers are low notes, the even numbers are high notes. The low numbers had a kick drum, the high, the high notes had a snare. So it kind of, um, it's cool because when we're going from odd number when the numerator is an odd number for the time signature versus an even number for the time signature, you, um, the odd ones have this weird like syncopation where the even ones just continue like a, a snare pulse. Um, so it's kind of cool because it helps transition um, between the different parts. Also, and th this is the um, one of the cooler things. Uh, all right, so the way it works is there's four measures for each uh, time signature. And the first two are the same and the last two are the same. For the first two, um, I did, uh, where the fuck is the measure? Um, for the first two, uh, where's my brain? Okay, the first two, um, I just did uh, a power chord basically. So I did a perfect uh, fifth and a perfect fourth and an octave which I would call neutral intervals. They have no real um, color or tension to them. And so it, it kind of just gives us a base where if we do any tension, it's gonna stand out. And so I did that. And then the second uh, four or two, I did a crazy, a crazy tense, a lot of tension. I go from, um, I do a minor ninth, I do a perfect fifth, I go up a tritone, I go down an octave, I go up a minor second, and then I go back down a minor second. And uh, they both kind of have the same root note. They, they kind of um, clash in a good way to hopefully stand out more when it's being played. And then, so I kept that pattern um, for the most part. I, I kept that pattern for the most part. And every time we transitioned into another time signature, I took that pattern and I raised it up a minor second. So, um, so that tension builds up. We got like that, you know, the, the, the tension of the, um, of the key, if you will, continuing to move up. Then as um, it continues, we start losing notes. So um, 
you know, I'm still using the same thing, but you know, the, the pattern all of a sudden is only six notes long, five notes long, four notes long. Uh, now here's something else I thought of to, with that in mind, which I think really made it cool, is that I made the first few notes in the, the measure, uh, boom, I made the first notes higher than the lower notes, so, like for the peak. So here we have a, um, I got it, I always got to um, translate to the, the B straight. Um, so here we have a D flat, here we have a C, here we have a, what is that? That is a D flat again, but it's an octave below. So those are like the peak notes that you're hearing. Since the first one's higher than the next one's higher than the next one, as the um, the notes started decreasing for these cycles, the the pitch stay kept high. You know, like like so the tension stayed up. So the higher pitches would be repeated quicker and quicker as we kept losing notes throughout the pattern. So that kept the tension going, which is great. Um, again, the, you know, we always have the highest note. Um, and, and cool enough, the, when we're doing the one with all the neutral intervals, just the perfect intervals, the highest pitch here is a D flat. But when we're doing it with all the tension to, to contrast it, it's a D sharp, so we're adding even more tension to help that build up as we move through this this uh, this section of the arrangement. Um, so yeah, and then towards the end, you're just like peeking out on this like higher pitch that we eventually get. You know, we start off in we'll say the key of doo -doo 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 C, and then we end in the key of fuck. What the hell is eight on this fucking guitar? Three not C again, is it? No, it, I think it's G. Um, so we, we, we actually move up like uh, seven different um, intervals or whatever. So I'm going to play this again with the guitar pros just so you guys can kind of like maybe get a kick out of it while we're, um, I just discussed it. Uh, so again, pay attention to, um, there's neutral intervals and then there's tension intervals. So there's going to be that kind of um, contrast. The measures are going to be getting smaller um, the, the notes are going to stay higher and the, uh, the keys are going to, um, increase as we move through. So here we go. Oh shit. That's loop. My bad. All right. All right, so then the cool thing is after we do, this is the cool thing in case you're curious. We got this like super complex like build up or whatever. I don't know about super complex, but it's sure, it sure is far more complex than everything before. Um, as we build up over this arrangement to this last group of intervals right here. Um, we go right into a low uh, C, which the main riffs in C, everything's kind of in C, because um, it seems to be the note we play the most. It's anchored. The only time there isn't a C is there's like an E, which you'd probably look at it like it's a major seventh leading tone into it, just the way it, it it's um, it's used with all the other notes, um, which it goes dum 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 dum, which is really simple. It kind of like I, I call it the ACDC Neanderthal effect, when it's just like a very 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 simple, um, like rhythm, and I think it works pretty effective. And when you go back into like the main like the money riff, the da da na 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 da na na na, um, you have that. It's a part of it is that pulse. Like you can see here, the in six eight, the um the pulse is every eighth note. Don't, 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 don't. And uh, here, with these melody notes added, the don't, don't, the don't, don't, don't eighth notes uh, with the C just continue. 
and the melody notes syncopate with it. The only time it doesn't happen, happen is when the tail has these complex notes, which it does have the, a, a very one of the lower notes on the third eighth note and the uh, sixth eighth note, um, but it so it keeps the the pulse going. Um, so yeah, uh, that's everything as far as that goes. So, does anyone have any questions, answers, solutions? Behaviors, lovers, blah blah blahs, <laughs> karma chameleons, they come and they go. Who the f is, who's Thomas Hawk has entered the chat? Are you Thomas Hawk Taylor plays box? <laughs> plays Xbox? I don't know. Alright, so I'm going to, holy shit. Check out how my video is tweaking out with the, <laughs> the song on the other side. We don't have to listen to the song again, but it's just the camera is like bugging the fuck out. Oh, dude, that guy is fucking sick. I was listening to, um, I was listening to, I don't, actually I was watching, I am not him. <laughs> uh, I was watching, uh, what the fuck was I watching? Something, and this dude was doing like a, analysis of bleed i think it's the song and holy fuck that song is so good i kind of i kind of get like dulled out with a lot of the mashuga stuff especially like later on i mean they did this like hypnosis like you know stuff i liked uh their first shit because there's more diversity but uh that's neither here nor there but yeah that drummer is a sicko uh yet paul yet the part right before Paul's birthday riff reminding me of Mushuga. <laughs> oh, the tenant. Oh, right, right, right. And uh, the one in um, 7 8. Okay, sure, sure. Yeah, it has um, during the uh, the refs, it has like the, the super quick like kick pedal. So I could uh, I could agree with you to that. I mean, <laughs> they're uh, it's kind of cool because it's it's simple. I mean, Mushuga just they're on heavy doses, man. They go to places that <laughs> that whatever man so mm. okay so that was that i'm gonna i'm gonna transition dude you just gotta check out the screen dude this is what my screen has done and we're, we're not gonna we're not gonna listen to that um but yeah oh wait now it's it's not even flashing it's like some like psychedelic whatever not really important i wonder if the other videos on fucking doses Let's see here. Yeah, all my cameras are on doses. I wonder what that's all about. Huh. I probably probably gave them hell when I, when I did the overload and encoding. Whatever. All right, uh, math core webcam, right? <laughs> Live in fucking concert. I'm going to turn these off and see if they recover in a minute because whatever. All right, so let's go ahead and uh, you want to review some of the other material that we have for like raw footage and uh, see if we can start another song. There's that one, there's one particular fucking riff in there. I don't know if it's going to be the money riff or not, but it's going to be a money riff um, because it is fucking sick as hell, man. Uh, here. All right, so we did that. I'm going to cut this guitar pro down to a size we can all relate to all right it looks like the screen is some or the camera worked out a little bit better on my end you can't ah it's fucking toasted it's like max headroom all right um so we went through that worked through that everyone thank paul for having a birthday you know it's not every day paul has a birthday all right, so I'm just gonna go ahead and play the raw material we had, what that we've worked up to, we, we have that's worked up to this point. So we can try to do something funky with it. So here we go. Or maybe not. Why is it a dick?
jump here. Alright, I don't understand why it's uh, fucking glitching, man. You know, like, it's, I mean, unless someone knows, don't want to be a jerk, but I sent you on Facebook my idea of a riff you were doing on your stream. That's, you're not being a jerk <laughs> at all. Um, so, well, I'll, I'll look for it. I'm, I'm pretty, uh, fucking, uh, busy with trying to be alive. <laughs> like, the real truth is, like, I, I fucking, I, I'm, like, bipolar in my meds. Like, my insurance got transitioned, and, and last month, my, <laughs> my, during the transition, I was out of my insurance, so I didn't get my meds. So this last month has been, like, a really interesting trip for me. So, um, Chat pause due to scroll, be a jerk, but I sent you. No, dude, fuck off. Why are, why are you doing that? Um, see me messages. Okay. Uh, th that's fine. Um, yeah. Uh, anyway, so I, <laughs> I've barely been fucking functioning. Um, I got my meds now, and so I'll be hopefully catching up with reality. I wonder why... All right, so it says my CPU usage is 33%. Why is my encoding overloaded right now? What the hell is going on that is causing this to be overloaded? I wonder if I should just kill the cameras for now. Um, I'm going to kill these cameras because I'm not using them. If I need them, I'll fucking turn them on. Uh, but in the meantime, I'm just going to hope that that helps me out all right so um there are a couple key riffs that i dig um let's see here where aren't you oh went through that um there's this riff right here which is somewhat melodic for the the kind of you know stuff that goes down that's here that sounds like <laughs> So there's that riff. Um, I'll put that there. Okay, and then this riff could be a really cool transition riff of sorts. Um, and I like it because it the um, it's in it's in a nine eight, and um, it kind of uh, it it, cha it like it keeps it you know it can it stays one ten with everything else, but it changes up the uh, the vibe if you will. So here, I'll play the riff before it, um, just so you can kind of get a tempo or whatever. And then, <laughs> apparently this riff is Paul's riff of pain. <laughs> oh, So I think that the the transition right there, it can be useful. All right, and now this this section right here is the the swollen happiness of all the universe. So I'm gonna go ahead and play this part and uh, dig it. <laughs> So yeah, um, I'm assuming that we should do something with that that stuff there. Uh, there might be some other cool things. I mean, there's some other neat things in here, but they're um, not winning me over particularly. All right, so I am going to kill... All right, actually, I'm going to rename this here. Um, so what's today? April 7th. All right, so the other one we started on... 314. All right, so today we're going to start on April 7th. One song down. Uh, cool. 
cool. Thank you, Keith. Is, uh, is King Augie still on right now? I, I don't know. There's probably a way to see who the, who the hell's still jamming. I'm fucking slow. All right. Uh, four, seven. Okay. Do, 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 do. I'm going to clean some of the um, fat off the fucking bone. Make some space. Let's see here. Uh, what is this? Uh, whatever. I'm going to kill that. Um, let's see here. Does anyone have any uh, clever fucking formulas for insane music stuff <laughs> to, to get this party started? Uh, I'll delete that. Let's see here. Boom, 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 boom. Let's go back to my room. There's that chord. Kill that. All right. I'll keep Paul's original there because, well, it's the right thing to do. Uh, all right. I'm going to wait. Is there shit towards the end? End. What the fuck is this? Oh, here. Yeah. Huh, weird. What's the? Oh yeah. Let's see if there's any. We did this like. That's what we'll do. Let's go. Let's do. Um, let's do a uh, development brainstorm. I'm here, just ripped, <laughs> like muscular. So Adam, in case you're wondering, bought a, uh, a. He bought an actual pizza thing where you know where you bake pizzas, because <laughs> he's fucking awesome. Primal concrete, uh, concrete sledge, but faster for sure, man. Um, but. All right, so here's an interesting thing. There's probably some cool things in there. I'm not going to look at those right now. All right, so this is what I want to do. First, I'm going to clear up some... F no! God damn it. Um, what do I got to do to... I'm trying to... Nope. Trying to fuck off. <laughs> That's what I'm trying to do. What the hell is the insert bar? Oh, I know that. Okay. So I'm going to make some space. And what we're going to do is we're just going to... Um, I'm just going to put a stupid idea down that's oh, <laughs> extensively studied a bunch of fucking syllables... I gotta get the thing where we can share the uh, the the chat or whatever. Oh, I should probably put that. Um, whatever. Uh, how to do this here? Um, I don't know. Let's see here. Uh, chat at Twitch. TV slash Man Dude. All right. So where am I? What am I doing? I'm reading Paul's bullshit. Uh, Paradiddle diddles. <laughs> um, extensively studied by Francois Edouard Antoine Lucas. The Lucas number sequence goes like this 2, 1, 3, 4, 7, 11, 18. All right, everyone, I hope you're paying attention. We're get <laughs> I'm going to start over. Paul has given us uh, some tutorial on math shit. Um, which is completely <laughs> inappropriate. All right, from the beginning, there was light, or there was darkness. All right, uh, extensively studied by Francois Edouard and Tolly Lucas. The Lucas number sequence goes like this, colon. 2, 1, 3, 4, 7, 11, 18, 29, 47, 76, 123, buck 19, 322, 51, 52, 1, <laughs> 84, 3, 13, 64, 2,207, and it goes on and on. The Yellowstone sequence follows the rule where the fourth number in the sequence should have a common factor with 2, but not with 3. The fifth number should have a common factor with 3, but not with 4. The sixth number should have a common factor with 4, but not with 8 or 9. Thus, the sequence will look like this. 1, 2, 3, 4, 9, 8. Thus. I mean, obvious. Duh. <laughs> um, that's a little overwhelming for me right now. <laughs> I, don't, I don't know what to, 
to make of that right now, fucking Paul, man. You got a, you got recording shit. Show off. Show off your potential, man. That could be a neat sequence. Do, <laughs> did we try the Fibo, Fibonacci sequence? One, one, two, three. One, 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 two, three, five, eight, thirteen, twenty-one bar sizes. Oh, like, uh, oh, like the, the measures. All right, yeah, that's interesting. Maybe we could do that. Um, uh, what we'll do is I'll do this riff idea, and then maybe we can try to pull that into, we can try to uh, pull these, the raw ideas into whatever. All right, I, someone give me a uh, numerator right now for over uh, eight, or forever hold your peace. Because it's harmful. Not, it's harmful to ignore me. <laughs> uh, let's see here. Who's going to give me a numerator? Is it going to be you? Could it be you? <sighs> uh. <laughs> I could just play the song again while we're waiting. I, uh, 19. <laughs> Fucking weirdo. All right, let's do 19. Okay. Um, no, that's way too much. Ah, fuck it. Let's, let's, uh, <laughs> all right, I'm going to do 19 sixteenths then. I'm not going to do 19 eighths. It's a little, all right, I'm going to do nine just because we need to develop this idea in 19. Um, fuck, man. All right, let's, let's see what happens with 19. I mean, <laughs> No, I'm gonna do nine, and if I if like nine if nine starts looking like a, a lame sauce, we'll do nineteen another time. Just remember nineteen, like get on me about nineteen, like get on my fucking gonads about it. Um, actually, nineteen out of sixteen, uh, nineteen over sixteen, five sixteenths. Uh, let's just do the nine. Let's do nine. Nine, nine, no. All right, um, all right. So I'm gonna go. I hate that you have to highlight the measures that you're gonna change time signatures to, like, because otherwise Guitar Pro will change everything to whatever time signature from that point on. Um, all right. Let's see here. All right. This is basically eight over sixteen. All right. So I'm going to do. Uh, fuck. All right, if, if I'm going to do 9 over 8, I can do 19 over 16. All right, let's do, 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 do. Okay. Ah, oh, dick smoker, man. Do, 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 do. I already forgot what I'm doing here. Nineteen sixteen. Okay, so I'm going to rest, get myself some fucking space to uh, move around. It's easy to turn these into eighth notes and all those other fuller um, subdivisions. All right, so I'm just going to write some dumb shit, and the idea is this. Over time, as we move through the measures, all of a sudden, weird things are going to start happening. Yeah, right, right? Yeah, Guitar Pro is, like, not cool about that. All right, so I'm just going to start putting shit together. All right, so we'll go two, one, we'll make those power chords. Um, slide, slide, uh... Then we're going to go, uh, let's see here. We'll go three, three, um, two, one, three, four, oh, four, slide, slide, dick, slide, dick slide. <laughs> Probably the best type of slide they got around. I'm going to do a four, four, one, one, and then we're going to go, uh, Four, two, one, three, 
slide, slide, and then we're going to go, um, uh, we'll go, yeah, let's go, <laughs> let's go, I'm out of here. All right, so this is, oh, actually, I'm going to do it only two times. All right, so that was neat. Okay. Now, how are we going to change that up here? All right. Um, we can... Let's see. Uh, what if we go... Um, uh, let's see. We'll just add that. And we'll add two. Um, okay. Boom, boom. Two. And that would be... Okay. And then we'll go... Oops. Dicker. Uh, ooh. Um, uh, do, 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 do. Instead of that, we'll do... Um, We'll do, uh, we'll do a panic chord there. Um, L. Uh, and then we'll go up a second. Because you can. Uh, nope. There we go. Six. Well, it's <laughs> Beautiful. Uh, let's do some panic chords here. Oops. Boop, uh, boop, boop, boop. Boo. Go. Uh, one four again. All right, and then uh, no, we'll go one four there just so we can actually let it ring out a little bit. Uh, now we'll go up to here eight, and then I'm gonna cut that. Add that. All right, so now we got this. <laughs> Dude, no. All right, we got to change those fucking intervals there at least to a third. Uh, <laughs> uh, okay. So then, uh, fucking me slowly with his song. All right. <laughs> dude, I'm sorry, dude. All right, I can't, I can't move on <laughs> with how stupid those uh, minor seconds are right there. Uh, let's see here. Uh, doo -doo 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 -doo. Uh, fuck. Um, you can just go back to uh, one because it doesn't matter. All right. Oh, I know it's fucking the here. I hate that. All right, they're all supposed to be um, eighth notes. I'm already spending too much time on this. Ah, there's no time limit. All right, that's good enough. But I do like how the uh, the chords loop into each other here. So I'm going to leave that for a moment. Uh, let's see here. Uh... Any ideas, Keith? Let's see here. Um, let's do... All right, we'll go... If that's going to be a one, then that would be three. So then we'll make that four. And then we'll do... Uh, we'll go nine. Oops. How the... F oh, fuck you. I'm going to kill these rests. Boom. Oop. And then we'll make this a, uh, here we go, add a rest, make that a triplet, and then we'll go, I, oh yeah, there we go, and we'll go 4-9, and we'll slide that, and then we'll go, uh, do that again, um, hmm. And we make that. Let's see if that would become a five, maybe? Oh, I don't feel like fucking doing shit. 
All right, I look for the subdivisions. Five subdivisions. All right, this goes, oops, no, that's not what I want. How do you change? Change for the better, man. Isn't this supposed to make, do I just hold it? There we go, okay. All right, and oop, we'll go. Who am I and what am I doing? Boom, nope. All right, and we'll go 49494. Slide, slide. All right, so is that good? Oh, okay, what, are, what am I missing here? <coughs> um, I don't know. Let's find out. That? Okay. Whatever. Uh. <laughs> That's so fucking stupid. But I gotta leave it. <laughs> uh, okay. Um. And then we'll wish that never happened. And we will go... I gotta think of something here. Um, I'm gonna erase that. One, two. Erase that. Uh, one, two, three, four. No, dick. I don't want that ever again. One, two, three, four. Um, we could just do. All right, we'll do a harmonic because I had thought to do it. This kind of harmonic thing is cheesy, but... All right, what if we go change up those harmonics? Uh, let's see here. Um, I'm do five. Uh, boom. And then we'll go four, three. So we'll go doom, doom. And it's going. <laughs> doo, doo, doo. All right, that's fucking stupid. All right, let, let's switch those around. Uh, let's make that three and then. Oh, fuck. And make that four. And I'm going to leave it if it doesn't work. Oh, no, dude. L. Okay. <laughs> that could be cool. Uh, all right, let's see here. All right, I think we got uh, enough of those uh, lines going around here, um, or the the whammy bar stuff. Okay, so let's go. Um, let's go fly a kite. We'll go rest. Uh, one, four. Oh shit, I wanted to keep those harmonics. No, I don't. Alright. So it sounds like this. That's cool. Alright. More whammy bar. <laughs> Never enough fucking whammy bar. Uh, all right. I think I got a whammy bar right the fuck here, man. <laughs> uh, um, here, I'll do a whammy bar slide just for fucking, just for fucking. If you're wondering if there's ever a reason to do a whammy bar fucking motion, let's do it. Um, I got it. All right. Oh, I turned off the camera. Let's see if... Boom, not that it's important, but... <laughs>
so important. Uh, Alright, what are we doing right here? Nothing wrong. Alright, there we go. Oh shit. Oh man, the uh, uh, the whammy bar is so low on this. I. Yeah, let's go. Is that enough whammy bar for you? <laughs> Alright, enough of that. Never again. I overdid the whammy bar. I do whammy just for fucking. <laughs> Alright, so we have this riff here. Uh, do, 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 do. New comment. Oh, sweet. Oh, I missed out on some shit. Oh, my bad. Uh, oh, okay. Hey, homie. Hope you're doing well. Uh, love for you. You get it. Um, okay. So, we gotta do this riff. Okay. Um, let's see here. Uh... <laughs> I'm, all right, I'm just gonna, no, I don't wanna toss all that. What did I just do? All right, so I'm going to kill those harmonics right there, and then I'm going to, so I went minor ninth there, then I went down to a tritone, and then um, I'm going to uh, add some shit. I'm gonna just raise that up a minor second, and then uh, maybe uh, uh, add that chord there. And then um, let's do let's do the Humpty Hump. No, do 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 do. do. Ah, let's just see what happens when I do all that. All right. <laughs> I want a little more distinction between that here. Um, and then we'll go... Uh, I'm going to kill all those. And... Oops. Alright, so we got... Alright, so what am I doing here? Um... We'll do, uh, we'll go up, uh, so I'm gonna put that there. I believe I'm, I think I'm going to. <laughs> so it can repeat from before, but I'm going to have it be a tritone up from where it is going, which would be right there. Okay, and then I'm going to uh, uh, two side three three four, and then we'll go slide. All right, so we got this. No, that's stupid.
so let's see what this sounds like so far. Uh, no. All right, so we hit, oh, what the fuck did I do wrong? Is there too many measures? That's not cool. Oh, uh, uh, Oh, wait, no, I want that. Whatever, I'll keep it. All right, um, so right now, we just did that. Um, we, start, we started with this. has kind of a similar vibe because it has that amazing guitar tone that Guitar Pro only uh, can offer. Uh, let's, we don't see Guitar Pro right now. To, oh, fuck me, guys. I'm so sorry, man. <laughs> My bad. <laughs> You're welcome. Uh, you ever figure out how to represent those backwards whammy trills in Guitar Pro? Uh, they, the flutters or butterflies? Uh, yeah, man. Uh, you just... Um, Let's see here. How do you represent a butterfly? So what you would do is you would, um, let's see here. We'll do one on the G string, on the five harmonic. Um, we'll make that, uh, let's see here. We'll make that, uh, let's make it a whole note. Um, actually, probably not. Uh, so we'll go, boom. All right. So then, I mean, obviously you could always do whammy. Uh, like, for example, um, a lot of times when you do, uh, not all the time, but a lot of times when you do the, um, the, uh, the butterfly um, things, there's like a note, bef there's a slight moment before you hit the, uh, hit the, the trem system. Um, so let's, let's try to keep that in in mind so we'll go that way and then we'll add we'll make that uh dotted or whatever and then um uh, let's see here you would go like that oh shit i would all right so those are connected now i'm going to you could obviously add you know vibrato like that it, it won't work just right yeah, it's fucking stupid. Um, I wonder if they give you some other kind of... Oh. What's wide? Let's see what this is. Okay, that's fucking stupid. Um, left hand vibra... Oh, okay, I see what you're doing here. And no. All right, so what you would do is take the whammy bar. You... There's something that um all right so when you do it you sh uh, you make the note gets sharp for just a short second beforehand where it starts um, and then let's see here we'll go up to here and then what you would do is just literally oh, come on man you used to be able to um, you used to be able to manipulate this a lot better. And I think it's lame that you can't. Come on, you man. Uh, Paul, this is how you would do it. Uh, but it, uh, that's, that's lame sauce. Why wouldn't, back on uh, the Guitar Pro 6, you could make whatever pattern you wanted for the, uh, the pattern. <laughs> Uh, you could just hit dots along the way and it would give you that point, you know. Um, so, 
all right, we want to win still. <laughs> I mean, if you really wanted to do it, you could just, um, <laughs> here, I got an idea. Uh, fuck. All right, so let's um, dip. Okay, well, <laughs> this is going to be fucking stupid. All right, so I went up. Let's see here. I went up, uh, oh, whatever. And then I'm going to make that a 16th note. And then um, I'll do another five harmonic. Or actually, what I'll do is just this. I mean, actually, because it's so quick, let's go ahead and make these 30-second notes. Uh, boom. And we'll copy that. This should sound fucking righteous. Okay, let's see how this sounds. <laughs> Does that work for you, bud? <laughs> there we go. We, fought, we solved the freaking butterfly problem. That's cool, man. How would you do that with a guitar here? Uh, <laughs> like, actually, I mean, that was the whole point, right? Uh, let's see here. Uh, come on, drum. Oh, I hate when I drop my pick. Uh, I've been dropping the pick too much. Uh, all right, let's write one more riff for this. Uh, uh, Maybe I don't have it in me right now. <laughs> oh, that, that's some potential there. So we go, wait. Okay, so we go. All right, uh, pretty damn close, right, right? All right, um, here, let's see if I can come up with something for the beautiful people of the universe. Uh, so I'm thinking, so, wait, uh, uh, wait, all right, here we go. Uh, Whammy bar. Here, so we go. <laughs> fucking dude. All right, I'm gonna I'm gonna stop playing with that because <laughs> it's kind of fucking dumb. All right, I'm gonna, um, we're, we're getting towards the end. Um, do you guys wanna hear the song one last time? I'll fucking play it just because we can and then we'll never hear it again. <laughs> All right, uh, do, 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 do. Oh, God damn it, man. Uh, let me put this fucking thing on here. Uh, okay. Where's my brain? All right, do, 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 do. where are you? Uh, room desk overhead. All right, the, the fucking screen is on heavy doses, so it's gonna be actually pretty da damn sweet. All right, here we go.
Jaws would be good right there. Fuck me, man. survived it okay um uh, that's a complete music video from your glitchy web cream no joke yeah for sure all right um keith okay what's your question oh keith what's your question i might answer it if you ask me just type it into the chat, you little brat. Of course it rhymes. Doesn't matter if it makes sense at all. Puffball. <laughs> Whatever. That's a good track. The the song I was just singing, or the uh, <laughs> the fucking the metal. All right, Keith. Okay, does um as we are winding down, does anyone else? Does anyone have any comments? Only fourteen more tracks to go. Uh, yeah, I'm thinking like ten to ten to twelve. We'll see. The that song isn't as particularly as like Beth crazy as it could possibly. You know. It could be a little more insane or intense, but it just seemed to be like that was the way the, the song. Uh, this is something else. Yeah, we'll see. Well, I don't know. We'll see. Like, I, I, I got a plan for it, but we got to see how that that comes about. Actually, I can let's see here. Whoever the fuck you are. Um, yeah. Uh, let's see. Uh, I don't know. <laughs> uh, 10, 11, maybe. I'm, I'm guessing how that's how many songs, uh, 10 or 11, probably. That would seem to make some level of sense. Yes. Um, so that's that. Uh, anything else from you guys? Oh yeah, alright, as we're winding down, um, so uh, right now I'm trying to make as much content as I possibly can. I've been putting a lot of time into my Patreon account, so if you play guitar, and, and I'm, I'm going to be adding a lot more. I have like, I, I'm, I'm putting lessons on there, and they're from the exercises that I'm doing right now. And uh, all the exercises have like a guitar profile that you can read and you know alter your speed and do whatever you need to do to practice with. There's a PDF if you don't have Guitar Pro, so you can read the tab for what I'm doing. And there's uh, for some of the licks, it just has me playing it for you. But most of, there's a lot of lessons where I actually um, you know shoot a video and explain what's going on and you know give you examples of what's happening and. Um, just explain what's going on with that. So I'm trying really hard to uh, be able to maintain keeping doing this content and hopefully not going back to work in the next couple of months so I can continue to do shit. But um, yeah, so if any of you guys um, are so kind enough to do so, please consider uh, supporting my Patreon account. Um, even if it's like a dollar a month, that really, really helps. Um, and then, yeah, so there's that. Um, wait, what's this here? All right. Sorry, there's a big delay. Oh, I know. It, yeah, it, I'm 
Yeah, Keith, I totally got you, man. It's fucking a bullshit delay. Uh, same as Okay, willing to trade for the banner back. Something Psyopis, but my name would have no more meaning. <laughs> what do you mean? Like, Are you saying, like, there's some level of identity that you hold within that Psyopis banner? Yeah, I mean, you should you should keep the banner, man. I just, like... If you, like, if you look, I don't know how much I want to move my laptop, but if you, like, look around my, like, room or my office, um, there's just, like, like, all along the wall, there's, like, just, like, you know, flyer, Psyopis stuff, like, going off that way, and there's a little bit of space I have left, so I'm just, you know, like, looking to fill up I mean I to be to be honest with you I mean I got one place where I could put that banner um but yeah like the right this wall in front of me is like the fucking whatever 11 by 11 by something like the the backdrop banner from the like the last from the last album that's behind that was behind the drum set like I got that up on my wall but yeah I, I really got not very many places to put anything, but I can put that banner there, you know. Um, so, uh, the Patreon Canton. It's, Paul is a fan of, or Paul is a member at my, my Patreon, which I appreciate it very much. Um, <laughs> I can't be called Psyopus Banner Owner anymore. <laughs> Psyopus Banner Owner. That's fucking funny. Uh, yeah, I, yeah, I hear you, man. Um, you, you can always make another one, right? <laughs> um, yeah. I hear you. Like, uh, I, I think it's a good power play, man. Maybe uh, try to figure out a way to, like, bully me or pressure me. And to, you know, maybe you could fucking offer uh, Putin the Psyopis banner and he'll fucking lay off the Ukraine for a minute. That's a good possibility, right? That uh, Did you get any puzzling vinyl copies? I did. I did get some. Um, yeah, they're pretty, they're pretty neat. The... Uh, the wax is pretty, pretty cool. Wait, Adam, by the way, are you there? Because, Adam, I have um, our shirts. I don't think we got all the shirts that were initially um, planned to come to us, but I don't particularly need to give any away. So um, if you're, you know, I'm sure I'll see you at some point, you know, before football starts <laughs> or whatever. Oh, by the way, too, if any of you guys give a shit, we're going to – um. I've been talking to the uh, the old print, uh, the 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 local print guy, and uh, he and I were talking about putting out um, tie dye versions of the smoke pot and listen to Opus shirt, kind of retro, but like on a tie dye, either green, purple. I I prefer purple, or if we can find um, uh, the mixed color of tie dyes, I think they're gonna try to make it like an option. So, cause they're all they're all gonna be made like per order, you know, for or whatever. Um, <laughs> <laughs> I don't even know what that fucking is, Adam. <laughs> That's yeah, so those shirts, um yeah, if you wanna pick up those shirts at some I mean obviously you you haven't brought it up and I haven't brought it up. I don't think anyone gives a shit. <laughs> so whatever. But I mean they're they're cool, man. The long sleeves are sweet. I love the the um the the cat who did those uh the I'm talking about the the shirts that came out when the vinyls came out um or for trade can I call dibs on this project's album artwork or a shot at it um it's not holistically up to me but that being said um I would certainly be willing to put you in the ring, you know, the cage match to, to see what's going on. It, it, it's so far ahead of, of schedule, but um, you might have to remind me because I'm guaranteed to forget that you want me to do that. So, um, yeah, I'll consider that even without the trade. I mean, that would be kind of, kind of neat or whatever, right? So, my, okay, all right. I, is she medium? Um, cause I think there's like a medium, um, and there's a couple different long sleeve ones, but yeah, whatever, 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 whatever. So, um, yeah, I, I'm like all those other, um, the riffs I've been putting out on like a regular basis. Well, as far as the Patreon account goes with like the time I've been putting into, um, 
making the lessons and stuff, it's kind of pulled away from, I've been, I was putting out like a metal riff on Facebook, like every day. Um, and if I missed a day, I put two out the next day or some shit. But the reason I've been cutting back on that is because I've been spending so much more time focusing on getting the, the Patreon, um, uh, content out. So, uh, for whatever that's worth, but that being said, like all the risks I've been putting out, like, I'm just trying to stockpile, see when the time comes, you know, um, even if it was like, just, uh, like putting out a Psyopa song or something, just drummers don't exist or whatever. <laughs> Fucking Adam was looking for a drummer on Craigslist. Like I'm surprised Craigslist even exists anymore. And and I doubt there's any fucking drummers who can fucking play Psyopus material on a fucking Craigslist thing. But you know what? Whatever. I I mean where else do you fucking look? You go to shows, I guess, and I don't go to shows, I'm too old. Adam's in a band called Sully. So he goes, he'll be going to shows when they play music. Taylor Bates did the puzzling shirts. He's awesome. Dude, for sure. The, um, the, oh yeah, that's what I was going to say. He gave me the, um, he gave me the, the, whatever, what is it called? The, um, the artwork for the shirt with the girl's face and the puzzle pieces. I wish that was the cover for the album, to be honest with you, but whatever. I think we're like 10 years behind. We're 10 years behind that. But anyways, he gave me it so I can frame it. Um, but I got to print it, frame it, and I need money. I'm fucking broke as a joke, so that probably won't happen. <laughs> I, I, go to, I go to Michael's and try to shoplift a frame. <laughs> I'm like, I put this huge fucking frame in my fucking whatever. <laughs> um, yeah, 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 yeah. So, all right, anything else? or whatever before I head flow. Thank you everyone for uh, coming out and, um, and, and participating and, and sitting through everything and checking the shit out. I appreciate it very much um, coming here. Part of my, the idea of me doing this is so that I, I have a, like I plan a routine where I'm consistently working on this material with this like particular guitar. And it's cool, came up with a riff so far, got tons of raw material. Um, all that fun shit. So I do appreciate it. You know, the more people that come and hang out, the better. So, um, I'm assuming that the, uh, the tape delay is wherever everyone's heard that. All right. Oh, figure out how to get t Twitch tips. Yeah. I, I think to get the Twitch tips, I have to be an affiliate. And to be an affiliate, I have to charge people for the, the the access and I need to put more time into it there's like I, I'm I'm able to be an affiliate now but there's like different like tiers of shit like they'll, they contact me at, like with emails like um, you know whatever uh, but yeah man I'll, I'll figure it would help me if I can do that for sure um, but yeah I'm uh, 100 dollars per article of clothing <laughs> wait, wait you're gonna you want me to sell clothes play this last new riff one more time we didn't see guitar pro last time hi mom <laughs> um all right so you want me to you want me to play the um the little brainstorm oh yeah we didn't even listen to the brainstorm all right i'll play the brainstorm before we head flow um, I'm assuming, Paul, that's what you're talking about. If not, well, it'll work because this is whatever. All right, here we go. <laughs> so stupid. <laughs> yeah, man. Uh, I mean, obviously, you guys can see the idea, like, that these ideas just, like, stem. I think when we initially, when I initially did it here, I mean, this is the original one. 
like, I think I did, like, 30 or, or 40, and I spent a little more time, like, listening to it and trying to be clever, but, um, yeah, I, I didn't do that so much right now. Um, there's, the only thing that I really pulled from it is just, I like these little turnarounds at the end of the measure that go into the beginning of the measure again. <laughs> Like, I don't know, lately, for some reason, that concept's been turning me on. So, cool, 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 cool. That, the trill should stay. The trill? Oh, uh, that's, um, the, the whammy bar?